Hi, in this video, we are going to translate English sentences to mathematical sentences. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to appropriately differentiate expressions from equations and correctly translate English sentences to mathematical sentences and vice versa. So why do we need to translate English sentences into mathematical sentences or vice versa? Well, doing so helps us solve mathematical problems. But how does translating English sentences into mathematical sentences and vice versa help in solving mathematical problems? Well, let's find out. What are algebraic expressions? Well, algebraic expression is a combination of mathematical operations on constants and variables. Examples ng algebraic expressions are 3x, 10x minus 4, and x squared plus 5. So these are just some examples of algebraic expressions. Again, it's a combination of mathematical operations on constants and variables. Algebraic expression. How about algebraic equation? Again, yung kanina, we had algebraic expression. Right now, algebraic equation. Ano bang kaibahan nito sa algebraic, ex um, algebraic expression? Well, an algebraic equation is obtained when an algebraic expression is equated to a number, a variable, or another expression. Take note, equated to a number, a variable, or another e expression. So, from the word equation, meaning we have an equal sign. Okay? Kapag kayong algebraic expression, dinagdagan na ng equal sign, at saka may expression na dun sa right side uh, ng equal sign, then that expression becomes an algebraic equation. Examples. Yung 3x natin kanina na algebraic expression, dinagdagan natin ng equal sign and a number to the right of it. So, this now is an algebraic equation. Yung 10x minus 4 na algebraic expression, dinagdagan natin ng equal sign and then my number dito sa right side. So, this now is an algebraic equation. Same with x squared plus 5 equals 0. So, this now is an algebraic exp um, algebraic equation because of the equal sign. Equal sign. Again, yung palatandaan natin ng pagkakaiba ng algebraic expression sa algebraic equation is that yung algebraic equation meron siyang equal sign. Yung expression naman wala siyang equal sign. Example, determine whether the following mathematical statements are algebraic expressions or equations. Okay, expression lang ba siya or equation siya? Letter A, we have 2y equals 5 plus x. 2y equals 5 plus x. We have here an equal sign, so this is an algebraic what? Right. Algebraic equation. Very good. Well, letter B, we have x cubed. x cubed equals 1. x cubed equals 1. We have an equal sign. So, therefore, this is an algebraic equation. Very good. Letter C, we have the cube root of 5a plus 7. The cube root of 5a plus 7. Hmm. We don't have an equal sign here. So, therefore, this is just a mere algebraic algebraic expression. Very good. Alright. That's pretty easy, right? Now, let's proceed to translating algebraic or translating English sentences into mathematical sentences. Let's take a look at these phrases first. So we have here English phrases and the corresponding mathematical symbol. So if we have the word more 
or the phrases like more than, greater than, added to, total, increased by, some of, plus. So if we have these words in a sentence, they mean plus or addition. Okay? If we have less than, subtracted to, decreased by, difference of, minus, or subtracted from. So that denotes negative sign or subtraction. If we have times, product of, twice, thrice, double, triple, that means multiplication. Okay, multiplication. Or, um, yeah, this is the operation and all. However, we can also use parentheses okay, to mean multiplication. Or the dot product to mean multiplication. Pero yung pinaka-common talaga is yung um, parenthesis. And sometimes, if we have a number in a variable, pag, dikit lang sila ng, um, pag pinagdikit lang natin silang dalawa, that already means um, product or multiplication. Okay? Halimbawa, um, the product of 2 and a number, 2 and a number, product of 2 and a number, so we can have 2x. Okay. X here does not mean the the operation, but X here stands for any number. This is a variable. Okay, this is a variable. So this um, this can be read as two X or the product of two and a number. Okay, X stands for a number. Next we have divided by, per, ratio, out of. So these expressions mean division. Okay, take note that if that when we have fractions, they also mean division. Is greater than, so this is the symbol. Is less than, this is the symbol. Okay, we have some more. We have is less than or equal to or at most. This is less than or equal to. This is greater than or equal to or uh, meaning yan at least. Yung equal sign naman mean, uh, in English phrase is, is equal to or equals, represents, or yields. Take note of these words or phrases huh? because they mean equal sign. Okay. Not equal to, not equals, or not is not. Okay, So this is the opposite of equal sign. A number. When you encounter in a sentence that says a number, okay, this is represented by a variable. Okay, variable represented by any le letter. Uh, kaya nga kanina, no, gumamit ako ng X, pwede ring A, pwede ring B, C, and so on. Any letter in the English alphabet. So, we have squared, square of a number, cubed, cube of a number. So, when we say squared, something like this one. So, you have here a variable and then exponent, 2 for squared. For cube naman, we have um, 3 for cube, you know, to the fourth power or 4 times. A raised to the fourth power. So, meron ganon, you know. Square root or cube root. So, this is a square root of x or square root of a number, okay? Ito naman, cube root of a number, so, or cube root of x. Right? Cube root. Mam, lagi bang x yung gagamitin? Hindi naman. Sabi nga dito kanina, when we say a number, that can be represented by any variable, any letter. Okay? Any letter. So, pwedeng A, pwedeng B. Yun sabi ko kanina, no? So, any letter. Let's have an example. Translate x squared. Minus 4 equals 5 into an English statement. Again, let's translate x squared minus 4 equals 5 into an English statement. So, take note that uh, we write the English statement as you read the equation using key terms. Okay? As you read the equation kanina, um, binasa ko na siya, di ba? So, we already have an idea kung paano siya translate into English statement. Okay. So, we use key terms and their corresponding mathematical words or phrases. Take note that the equal sign is translated as is or is equal to. 
or equals, okay? So we have here x squared minus 4 equals 5. This would be the square of a number less 4 is 5. So this is the English phrase or the English sentence. Hmm, paano ba yan? So take note, we have here x squared. Okay, x squared. So this is the square of a number. The square of a number. X stands for any number. X stands for a number. Ayan. And we have here squared or the square of a number. Then minus 4. That's less 4. Okay. Less 4 is 5. Or less than 4 is 5. Okay. We have here is 5. And that's it. Let's have example 3. Now, this time, we are going to translate English phrase into mathematical or English sentence into a mathematical sentence. What is the product of the sum and the difference of two numbers? What is the product of the sum and the difference of two numbers in mathematical form? Hmm. Well, this one, it's um, an English phrase, you know. So, thus, the product, the product of the sum and the difference of two numbers. Okay. So, first, we have two numbers. So, it says here, two numbers, yan, are being added and subtracted. Bakit? Saan ang word na added and subtracted? We have the sum and the difference. So, we have the sum of two numbers and difference of two numbers. So, since their values are unknown, Hindi natin alam, ano, yung two numbers. Ano-ano ba yung two numbers? Yung hindi natin yun alam, okay? Kung ano yung dalawang numbers na yon. So, two different variables must be used. Kasi hindi natin alam, eh. So, let us use, let us use A and B. So, let A be the first number and B be the second number. Step two, we say the sum. Ito sabi ko kanina, the sum. And the difference are being multiplied kasi ang sabi, the product of the sum and difference. Okay? So, this means that addition and subtraction are to be used. So, addition ang sum, ang difference, subtraction. So, if we have the sum of two numbers, we have two numbers, A and B. So, their sum, addition, A plus B. The difference of two numbers, two numbers, difference, subtraction. So, that's A minus B. Alright, and then the statement tells us about the product, okay, the product, thus multiplication is involved. So we say the product of the sum and the difference of two numbers, okay. So we have the sum of two numbers, the difference of two numbers, and their product. So we multiply sila, and that's it. 